ABC Kinder Teach presents Anno's Magic Seeds, written by Mitsumasa Anno. The wizard handed Jack the two golden, or yellow, seeds. These are magic, he said. Bake one seed in the oven until it is red and then eat it. You will not be hungry again for a whole year. Well, wow, that's quite a seed. Bury the other seed in the ground now and care for it well. I promise you it will grow and give you two more magic seeds in the fall. Jack did exactly what the wizard told him to do. The next spring, one tiny sprout, or seedling, came up. It grew and grew into a sturdy, or strong and healthy, plant. In the summer, two beautiful flowers bloomed on the plant. A little later, two fruits appeared where the flowers had been. And in the fall, the two marvelous fruits produced two seeds just like those the wizard had given him. In the winter, Jack baked one seed to eat and buried the other seed in the ground. He must have put it in a bag. He's going to bury it later, it looks like. Just one seed all year? Ah, oh, that must be some seed. Otherwise, I would be very hungry. The next spring came, just as before, one tiny plant grew from the seed Jack had buried. Summer came, two beautiful flowers bloomed on the plant, followed by two marvelous or great fruits. Fall came, and again the marvelous fruits produced two seeds. In the winter, Jack ate one seed and buried the other seed in the ground. Okay, so it grows two seeds, he eats one and buries the other, and he keeps doing that over and over again. Once again, in the year after this, one plant came up and two flowers bloomed and two marvelous fruits grew and two seeds were made and again Jack ate one seed and buried the other. The next year, the flowers bloomed again and the marvelous fruits grew and two seeds were made just as before. Again Jack baked one seed and ate it and buried the other seed in the ground. Boy, this is... Not a very exciting life, is it, for him, is it? The next year, while Jack rested and watched, a plant came up, flowers bloomed on it, then two fruits appeared, and two seeds were made, and as before, Jack ate one seed and buried the other seed in the ground. Is he always going to do the same thing in this story? And in the next year after that, the flowers bloomed, and the marvelous fruits grew, and the two seeds were produced as well. Again, Jack ate one seed and buried the other. But finally, Jack began to think about it. He's not a fast thinker. Oh, this can just go on and on in the same way forever, he said to himself. If I just go on doing the same thing every year, well, this year I will bury both seeds in the ground. I will get through the winter somehow by eating something different. So that winter he buried two seeds in the ground. He tended them very carefully, which means he took care of them very carefully. So now he has two seeds in the ground. So let's see. So each seed will grow two new seeds. So one seed, two seeds, and then if each seed has two seeds, then that would be four seeds in all. Okay. The next year, that is the first year after he planted both seeds, what do you think happened? Well, four grew. One, two, three, four. In the spring, two sprouts came up. Sprout, sprout. And in the fall, four seeds were produced. One, two, three, four. In the winter, Jack baked and ate one seed and buried the other 
three seeds in the ground. Hmm. Then, in the spring of the second year after his discovery, three sprouts came up, and in the fall, six seeds were made. That winter, Jack ate one seed and buried the other five. He made a noisemaker, something that made noise, to scare away crows and sparrows so they wouldn't come and eat the seeds. When the wind blew on it, the noise it made startled or scared the birds. So how many fruits will grow in Jack's garden next fall? Well, let's see. It says he buried five seeds. So if we say the first plant has two seeds coming from it, that'd be two, four, six, eight, ten. Let's see if we're right. Well, the next year, that is the third year after he got the idea, all the sprouts came up in the spring, and in the fall, ten seeds were made from the ten marvelous fruits. In the winter, Jack buried nine seeds in the ground. He baked one seed and ate it. So there's one seed that he's going to eat. So let's see if we can figure out how many seeds are going to come up next year. So we'll just count by twos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. The next year, the fourth year, in, in the spring, there came the sprouts. And in the fall, there were 18 seeds. We guessed right. That winter, Jack buried 17 seeds in the ground. The next year, that is the fifth year, in the spring, all the sprouts came up. And in the fall, the new seeds were made. That winter, Jack ate one seed, and he buried the rest of them in the ground. How many seeds did he bury? Hmm, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. He's got a lot of seeds in the ground. The next year, the sixth year, all the sprouts came up just as before. And that fall, many seeds grew so many that Jack didn't bother to count them anymore. While he was busy gathering in his harvest of seeds, a nice young woman came along. Her name was Alice. Alice stopped to help him. Well, how many seeds grew that year? Let's count them. Whew, this is going to take a while. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62. But there's an easier way. Watch. We know that there are 10 here and 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 10 here. So let's count by 10s and then we'll just add the last two. 10, 20. 30, 40, 50, 60, 1, 62. Jack ate one big seed and so did Alice. And that winter they buried the rest of the seeds in the ground. How many seeds did they bury? Well, I would say 60 because they ate the seed. They ate that seed and the rest they buried. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. In the spring of the next year, the seventh year, all the sprouts came up. And in the fall, there were many seeds from all the fruits. That winter, Jack and Alice got married and held a wedding party. They gave two delicious magic seeds to each of their five guests. Each guest saved one seed for a souvenir of this happy day. Jack and Alice ate one seed each. That year they also built a little storehouse and put 16 seeds in it to keep for a while. The rest of the seeds they buried in the ground. 
How many seeds did they bury? Whew. Well, I am just not quite sure anymore, are you? There's so many seeds. But let's see if we can count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, I believe. The next spring, the 8th, a lot of sprouts came up and in the fall many seeds appeared. And then because they had quite enough seeds, they decided to sell some at the town market. They took 60 seeds to sell, including all those that they had put in the storehouse the year before. Then they put 34 new seeds in the storehouse, set aside one seed each to eat, and buried all the rest of the seeds in the ground. How many seeds did they bury in the ground? Well, let's see. Maybe these are 10 again. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. No, that's not right. That's how many they sold. Whew, this is too much for me to figure out. The next year was the ninth since Jack had had his good idea. In the spring, a lot of sprouts came up, and in the fall, a lot of seeds were made. That year, their baby was born. So, in the winter, three seeds were eaten since each of them ate one seed. Now, because they had so many seeds, they went to the market to sell 100 of them, including all those they had been keeping in their storehouse. They put 51 of the new crop of seeds into the storehouse and buried the rest of the seeds in their field. That's a lot of seeds. A lot. How many? Hmm. I am not sure. It would take a while for me to count them and figure it out. The next year was the 10th. The baby was growing, so Jack and Alice built a new, bigger house. In the fall, their field was filled with plants bearing the magic seeds. Soon, it would be time for gathering in their harvest or collecting the seeds. But suddenly, oh, said Jack, the wind is blowing awfully hard. Uh-oh. It was a hurricane, which is like a tornado. They had never expected such a terrible storm. The river overran its banks and soon there was a flood. When a river overruns its banks, it means it has so much water in it that it flows out onto the ground beside it. Jack tied the house firmly to a tree so it would not be carried away. Then he pulled the cow up onto their cart, which was now floating like a ship. Alice, holding their little boy in her arms, ran up to the attic of the house. There she is right there. Jack managed to scoop up a small bag of seeds. He tied the bag to the tree. There's the tied bag of seeds. What a dreadful storm it was. The wind shook the trees and blew the rain against them. Soon the field looked just like a wild sea. The wind roared and the dark muddy water rumbled and rolled over the plants. The crops and the storehouse were completely washed away. Oh, they lost almost everything, but they did keep those seeds. It looks like they kept their house too and the cow. I don't know about these things. They look like mice. Finally, the storm was over. The sky cleared and the sun came out, but the fields were empty and bare. The water washed all their crops away, their, their, their plants. Still, our baby is safe. I am glad for that, said Alice. So am I. Very glad indeed, said Jack. And our cow has survived, and I was able to save ten seeds. There they are. So cheer up, dear wife. We will start all over and make a new life together. Jack baked three seeds. He gave one seed to Alice and one to their child, and he ate one seed himself. He buried the rest of the seeds in the ground. Jack and his wife then bowed their heads and prayed together for a good crop. Let's see how many they planted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 